Hey fabulous people, it's Brooke. I'm going to do a short little video for you today on vision and a vision for your life. Did you know that the definition for vision is the act or power of anticipating something that may come to be? Something that is in your mind vividly. Something that when you close your eyes you can picture this vision and you can feel it and you get butterflies in your stomach and your palms might start to sweat and you start to get excited because that vision is so strong and it's so clear in your head that, that it's all that you can see and it's so vivid. That's what you need to have for your life, okay? Um, there are three things that are going to make a vision powerful to you and the first thing is that your vision needs to be personal and it needs to be so personal to you. You can't have a secondhand vision. You can't borrow a vision from somebody else because you like their ideas and you like their goals. It needs to be personal to you and it needs to be something that you're going to think about when you go to sleep at night and it needs to be something that you're going to think about when you wake up in the morning. Okay, Your vision has to be strong and it needs to be unique because you are unique and you can offer the world something that nobody else can offer because you're unique and it's going to come from you. So you need to make sure that you take that uniqueness and you put it into your vision and you give people something that nobody else can give them. So people are going to continue to come to you for what is so unique about you. The uh, second part of a strong vision is that your vision cannot fall to intimidation. Um, you can't let others talk you out of your vision. You can't let the um, competitors you can't let the success of your competitors talk you out of your vision. Um, if I was to fall to intimidation, I would have never come to Virginia Beach. I would have never started my boot camp business. I would have never become a beach body coach because I was over 220 pounds when I decided to do so. You know, I would have, um, I had so many things that could have easily talked me out of my vision, but I had such a big vision and dreams and goals and plans for my life, and it was so vivid like I could see it and I could feel it and I could taste it and that's how you need to be with your vision so don't let anything else intimidate you from um, going after your goals and your vision and the third part uh, is that you need to have a vision that's easy to understand you need to be able to tell somebody your vision in a matter of a minute or so you need to make sure that your vision is clear and uh, that it's measurable and that it's quantifiable and you need to be able um, to describe it plainly to somebody and you need to tell your vision to everybody tell everybody that you know what the vision for your life is tell them what your goals and your dreams are the more people that know the more accountable you are to those goals um, don't make your vision contingent on anybody else it's up to you and you alone okay your vision is all yours you may need help to get there from other people but it's your vision so own it take responsibility for it. Don't don't just be happy living life day to day. Go out there and make uh, make a vision. Make a vision for your life. Your vision should set you on fire. It should make your palms sweat. It should make you smile every time your vision of your life comes to mind. And if you make a vision board, great, make a vision board. But that vision cannot just be posted on a wall somewhere and forgotten or shared on Facebook and forgotten. You need to have that vision in your heart. You need to think about that vision all day, every day, okay? Make it a strong, powerful vision. Make it personal. Make it happen.